mandate has been affirmed you know, by the three justices in the tribunal that what they did on the 25th, 25th of February was no fake, it was real, you know, and that mandate is sacrosanct and they have affirmed and agreed that we will continue to depend on that mandate of the people. So I use this opportunity to thank all of them, you know, for the good work on the 25th once again, you know, and continue to ask for their prayers and support as we progress forward. We will not disappoint them. They will never regret, you know, that vote they made on the 25th of February. You know, my responsibility is to our first to my constituency, second to Nigeria, you know, as a whole. Let me talk about Nigeria as a whole first. This electoral act we will do all we can, you know, to make it proper in such a way that we will not be having all these kind of problems, you know, in tribunals. You know, the kind of the kind of judgment and the responses that created the federal uh, panel, you know, we will eliminate all those all those uh, misgivings and bottlenecks. You know, I will do that. Now, as a representative of my constituency, Okpe Saple, who we are federal constituency, is to change the lives, you know, of the ordinary people in that federal constituency. Empowerment for the youth and the less privileged, you know, will be, will be focused on, you know, seriously. On a collective note, I am focused on reopening the port in Sapele. You know, it's very primary. Economically, it will turn, turn, turn that, that area, you know, into something else. I, I was born and brought up in Sapele. I knew when the port was working, you know. Very, I also, too, believe that education is our backbone and we'll do everything possible to get good schools and federal presence in education in Delta. In particular, Sapele Technical College is long overdue to become an university in, in any technical form, you know, uh, serving the people in that uh, area. I'm a security conscious person, and I think we needed to be safe first before uh, other other things will follow. So I will pay more attention, you know, to the security challenges we have, and see that everybody goes about freely doing his business without being harassed, you know, by any person. The opportunity, Greek person, I will do so much in a Greek, you know. The processes are already on. Empowerment programs is going to come. We'll train people, you know, on how to to rear. You know, beds, fish, pigs, so many other things, you know, that will create self employment for those people, not people who will be waiting for politicians to give them one naira before they feed. One naira that will not even serve, you know, you one meal. So we are going to do so much. Let me just this opportunity to say also to that I'm concerned about the level of hardship, you know, that is going on, especially in the issue of this petroleum subsidy. Me, as a person, I do not believe that there's a petroleum subsidy. I don't believe it in the first place. And I've held this position since 20, 20 zero, zero, you know. What we are doing in Nigeria today is we are managing mis... We are, we, we are subsidizing mismanagement, you know, and corruption in that sector. And all these small uh, five billion to a state, 100 and 1,200 bucks, it will not work. It will not work. If they divide 1,200 bucks to win in Delta today, we will not get even up to a cup of rice. Yeah. And that cannot be termed as subsidy. Even if they say they don't have anything to do with the 5 billion, let them give it to over 6 million uh, Deltas. We will not get more than 1,250 Naira, which is not enough for one meal. You know? So that is not subsidy at all at all. Subsidy to my mind is that our petroleum refineries must work. They must work. And I'm completely, and I maintain, completely against all this burning of uh, whatever they call them illegal refineries. They are not illegal refineries. They are not. Government should find a way to put these guys together, you know, standardize them, and these guys will be able to produce nothing less than 20, 30 percent of local consumption, you know, rate. That is how to work to put petroleum products, you know, in the hands of people. Not to tell us, you know, that uh, come and take one naira, come and take 20 naira, buy buses that we don't uh, see. It's all fallacy. It will not work. So may I stand, you know, on the ground, you know, that life is so difficult now. This story of all this uh, yes, subsidy will not work, you know. Let us go to the real, you know, how to solve this uh, problem. And I think in my mind, 
solving this problem is fixing the refinery and getting all these uh, uh, small, small refineries in the creek, you know, for all of us. At the initial, you know, there's no big deal. The law says that if you are a public servant and you want to participate in politics, okay. you must resign 30 days before the election, you know. It is not primaries, it is before yeah, the main yes. election. And that has been decided. You can see the good work from my lawyers. You know, recent Supreme Court cases, cases to that effect. You know, were put forward. You know, so the court is holding that that resignation is authentic, based on the fact that I made it. You know, 30 days, more than 30 days, even before the election. Yeah, sure. Then the court also to re-emphasize this, the, the 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 fact that based on judicial uh, precedence, we have come to agree. That nomination of candidates is an internal party matter. You know, not for busybody, yes. not for people who are not members of your party. Yeah. They are coming, coming, I think there's one word they, they, they use, you know, uh, very, very interesting. You know, in their internal pass, you know. So the court has established that one uh, again. And finally, the court said, based on the voting, it, it's, it's, it's not right for them to even question you know, the way the vote went. It was massive, yeah, you know, <laughs> and uh, overwhelming, and there's nothing they can do about it. The you know. case has been dead and buried. Ben Etan Abena won all the allegations and whatever he laid against it. They checked it and they noticed that it was all lies. And finally, they ended the case today. So it was concluded that Ben is the message is that politics is one business that you must do with honesty. Politics is one business you must have in mind that you are working for people. You are not working for yourself. As such, people are watching. Now the message is that everybody should come together and work for Delta. It's not a personal thing. The excellence, the reason why we, we came out to contest is to elevate and to make sure that the life of the Deltans are better. And this year, God has given him the opportunity, of course, to emerge as the winner. I think from this day onward, I think it's to better the life of the constituents here.